report from the World Health Organization showed that the latest vaccination tests have failed. With the bureaucrats out of power... Uh, from, from my research, there's never been a fungal pandemic throughout history, a recorded fungal pandemic of people being sick and dying. That said, millions and millions of people are killed every year by, by fungal infections, uh, aspergillus, things like that, which are mostly people who maybe have HIV AIDS or immunocompromised. So it, it is a huge burden on, on society. But I think this kind of instantaneous, like, so you see the guy with the broken mask, he's obviously been reading these spores in, he's clearly very worried, uh, and it seems that he's getting sick quite quickly. So I think maybe in that instance, history isn't on the game's side, but in terms of, of how it's transmitted, what, what, are our, what are our thoughts on that? So is it, is it breathing? I mean, what examples have we got of that sort of thing? Well, I found it quite interesting just watching that clip, actually. Slightly not exactly your point. Um, but I, I did watch the documentary that this fungus was based on. Mm. Um, and in that documentary, it was quite interesting because it said that it affects, you know, there's a specific type of fungus for ants, a specific type for moths, and there's lots of kind of specific types for different insects. Mm. And I found it interesting with you saying there that the rats were still kind of passing through unaffected. I wondered if the game people had kind of maybe thought it would be, you know, it only affects humans because it seems to be that it's only humans that are getting infected by mm. this and the animals and the environment seem to be largely unaffected. Which I thought it was quite an, an interesting kind of aspect of the game. I mean, that's not unusual. You have a, a lot of, of, of bugs, bacteria, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, which are uh, human restricted. Mm. They can only infect uh, humans and that's it. Uh, mm. So, um, for example, the uh, Nessia um, meningitis uh, uh, can uh, cause disease in humans, mm. for example. So. That doesn't shock me too much. Uh, th the fact that it's a fungus, yes, th does shock me because actually up to now I only know of fungus uh, ca causing disease or causing serious disease and death only with people with, with a problem with the immune system. Mm. So, uh, um, yeah, a fragile or, or non-existent immune system. So in the case of a pandemic that has gone so quickly with a fungus, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, an, it's for me it's a strange choice of disease, although the effect of it is, is a very common effect, I assume. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a rabies scenario, mm. uh, the, the, the zombie everything, it's always based on rabies. People yeah. get <laughs> mad and they want to bite the others and then they spread the infection, classic. Well, let's throw that over then, from the, from the maybe with, with your sort of a game journalist hat and, and you knowing game makers, why have they chosen this one, do you think? What, what the, the disease okay. itself? Yeah, th and, and the, and the um, transmission method, do you think, maybe? What are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, I, I think you nailed it. It's, you know, they always want to go for that. Um, in terms of the symptoms, they always want that running enemy type mm. because mechanically it's, uh, it's a great enemy. You know, it runs at you, you try and headshot it. If it gets to you, it bites you, you're down. In terms of game design, um, and obviously it mixes it up a bit later with different types of infected, but we'll come on to that. Uh, that works very well, and you know this is first and foremost the game, and obviously the the science side of it. I mean, I remember the first time I played this, and he put his gas mask on, and even myself as a layman found that rather <laughs> silly. Um, <laughs> and what what they're really going for, I think, I think the the whole reason that this is uh, spores and fungus is the uh, the the outcome uh, is quite striking of uh, the dead body and the the fungi growing from mm. it. Mm. Uh, it's quite a freaky thing to think about. The idea of parasites is something quite uncomfortable to think about. And I think they're going for this uh, odd beauty, almost, of uh, the human body being used as a, a, a host, mm. if you like, uh, to incubate this disease that's killing more humans. So there's a real, you know, their, their primary consideration here is not whether spores are a realistic vector uh, for spreading. It's whether spores are an interesting visual effect that can make an interesting gameplay section, mm. such as wearing your gas mask and moving slowly through somewhere dark. And then when you see the enemies themselves, they obviously have this striking uh, weirdness of being human, but clearly yeah. not yeah. human. Yeah.